Hello AACPS staff. In this short video tutorial, we're going to see how to add a folder that can help you organize your ClassLink dashboard. The easiest way to add a folder is simply to right click in the empty space here on your ClassLink dashboard and choose the option Add Folder. You'll be able to give your folder a name and even choose the color for the background of your folder. One of the things that we recommend, because we get a lot of questions from people about how to get rid of applications that they don't use, is to create a folder named something like Stuff I Don't Use. You'll find that ClassLink has a lot of textbooks and applications for a specific subject or content area, and if you don't teach that content area, you don't use those applications regularly. We do not allow staff or students to delete applications that are pushed out from the district from their ClassLink because it prevents students from deleting apps that they need. For example, if a student doesn't know that a specific textbook is their social studies text, they might delete it accidentally and that can cause a loss of instructional time as teachers are trying to troubleshoot issues with missing applications from students class link. So having a folder to sort those apps that you don't use into is a great way to manage that. Click and choose whatever color and choose create. Now you'll see your folder appear here in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Any applications that you would like to add to this, you can simply click on them, drag them to the folder, hover for just a moment until the application shrinks so that it's smaller than the folder, and then drop it. That will place that application in that folder. You can always access it in the future by opening the folder and clicking on the app. Please note that you cannot put folders inside of folders. So when you look at your ClassLink dashboard, you might see things like the Microsoft Virtual Desktop folder, the Password Reset folder, and even the AACPS ClassLink folder. And if I click on this, I cannot place it inside of another folder. So if you don't need these folders on a regular basis, you can simply drag them to the bottom of your ClassLink page, but you won't be able to organize them into a folder that you've created. If in the future you find an application in your folder that you would like to move out of it, if you go into your folder and right click on that, you can choose Remove from Folder, and that will place the application right back on your ClassLink dashboard and no longer in a folder.